Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has deigned to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may attain the joys of eternal life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you, Spirit. Brethren, as we pause to examine our consciences in this rite of penance, we do so seeking the abundant pardon and mercy of God for our sins as we pray together the Confitior and we seek the intercessory prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of all the angels and saints. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christ Let us pray. Almighty our living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? 
So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before his shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, And beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, The Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way, rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appeal to him in words, Praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me drew him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord 
You know, the first reading is one of my uh, favorite readings from the Acts of the Apostles and from Scripture because it really helps us to put into context the whole situation of what was happening in the first century after the resurrection of Christ and historical context of what was going on in the whole region of the Mesopotamian basin and really even beyond. And that was that um, Judaism had made um, tremendous strides in the, ha- the, the Hellenistic uh, pagan world, even to the point of Ethiopia, because there were Jews living in the diaspora, meaning living outside of Israel or Jerusalem, and they were now the neighbors and the friends and the co-workers of people who were living in these areas outside of Israel, and the uh, scriptures of the Hebrews were translated into their native tongues because of the fact that they were um, now grandchildren, uh, great-grandchildren of these immigrants who came to these countries from Israel and now were pretty much speaking um, in their native tongue the language of where they lived and so wanted their Hebrew scriptures to be translated into these into these languages for the sake of their children and their grandchildren and those who um, are now fluent in um, these um, um, uh, other tongues besides um, Hebrew. And so now, of course, uh, people are, uh, have access who aren't Jewish to these Hebrew scriptures. And as you can imagine, um, believing in kind of strange and pagan gods that are so mu- so much so um, hard to believe in that they're almost like cartoon characters that we would look at today uh, now, like Superman and Batman and these kinds of things that are completely um, uh, you know ridiculous to believe that that these people actually um, live uh, in, in, in a realistic world. It's it's really like a fantasy world. Um, but yet the Hebrew scriptures make so much logical sense that, they, that, that God created everything and that everything is ordered to him, that man is made in his image. There's only one God as monotheistic uh, uh, religion teaches. And um, intellectually uh, and, and um, spiritually, the Hebrew message of the scriptures and the prophets makes so much sense to these people who are learning about it. So here is this um, Ethiopian um, who's a eunuch uh, from the court of Candace. And so he's kind of like this administrative person, financial, financial manager um, of Ethiopia, very important person, right? And anyone who has charge of the purse strings is, is always considered a very important person. Um, and, and so uh, here he is in a chariot, of all things, um, and reading from uh, the prophet Isaiah. You know, isn't that incredible that, that it reached Ethiopia to learn about the prophet Isaiah? And, and this was really important that it happened before Christ came into the world because these people needed to be prepared about who God is so that they'll understand who his son is. So, so Philip didn't have to educate him on the Hebrew scriptures and, and, who, and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and who the prophet Isaiah is. You know, this man who's a pagan is already learning about these scriptures and these prophets. And this is important because it helps us to understand that a person just can't pick up the Bible and completely understand it on his own. And this is important for us to understand to this day, too, that here's this very impressive man who has a very impressive job, and, you know, I'm sure he's very, very well educated and intelligent, and he can't figure out the book of the prophet Isaiah, unless what? Unless it's taught to him, 
And that's what he says. He says, how can I understand this unless it's taught to me? And that was the big mistake of the Reformation, that when Christians all of a sudden separated themselves from the teachings of the apostolic church, from the teachings of the uh, papal authority that is, uh, that is in succession with St. Peter and the apostles. And we're told, just pick up a Bible and figure this out on your own. Um, this really became a huge issue and problem that we're still encountering today, that people are looking at the scriptures who are Christian and completely misinterpreting them, misunderstanding them, not understanding that some things are meant to take literally and some things are meant to be um, uh, more you know, poetic or, or metaphoric. You know, we don't cut off our hand you know, because it's sinning, um, but yet when Jesus says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood, we know that that's not metaphoric because we know that the Last Supper, the testament of the, the, um, the, the bread of life discourse in John's gospel, the early Christians behaving in a way in which they understood it, it was the, the body of Christ and in the first days of Christianity, we're celebrating what we call today the Mass by getting together and breaking bread and calling it the Eucharist. The road on the way to Emmaus that they recognized Jesus and the breaking of the bread. So there's, you know, there's so much evidence for the Eucharist that it's overwhelming. But if you put it in the hands of somebody who divorces themselves from the apostolic teachings of the church, um, and the, fa the, the early church fathers of the patristic period and such, then they can interpret it any way they want and say, no, Jesus really didn't mean that at the Last Supper, that this was his body and this was his blood and to do this in remembrance of him. It's just a piece of bread. It's a symbol of the body of Christ. And, and this really is the problem. But we can see in today's first reading that it helps us to understand the importance of apostolic teaching because this very high-ranking official, very intelligent man who's reading about, from the prophet Isaiah says, how can I possibly understand this without someone teaching me? And who is the teacher for him? The apostle, an apostle. That's really, really important that this was recorded in the way it was for us today to understand the importance of the apostles, that they're the official teachers of the church. And their teaching is um, in apostolic succession with their successors of the bishops. And this is how the structure of the church was established. When he, Jesus said to Peter, you are the rock and on this rock I will build my church. The gates of hell will never prevail against it. So there's a structure of a church, and it's the Catholic Church that teaches us the fullness of the truth of what the scriptures uh, tell us in their teachings and how we're to understand them. Perfect example of this, I was debating an evangelical who, which really isn't a, I don't think his church is really Christian because he said that in his church, you know, ecclesiastical community. We really shouldn't refer to Protestants as having churches, like the Protestant church. There's only one church, it's the Catholic church, and their ecclesiastical communities is what really we should refer to them as, uh, because there's one, the, the, Jesus didn't establish multiple and, and, and thousands of churches, uh, one church, the Catholic church, and anyone else who's Christian belongs to a, an ecclesiastical community but they still really, even though they don't recognize it, have the Pope as their leader if they consider themselves Christian. And they are legitimately Christian, believing in the doxology of the Trinity, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the, and the Apostles' Creed. So anyway, I was speaking to this gentleman, and he said, and he said yeah, we don't have, we don't have um, 
water baptisms. We don't baptize with water. Because Jesus, before he ascended into heaven, said to the apostles, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He didn't say use water. He, just, he said, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. <laughs> so we have all these other references in Scripture. This is called proof texting, just taking one piece of Scripture and not putting it in the context of everything else. You know, so we have Jesus himself being baptized in the Jordan. We have, of course, early Christians being baptized. We, John the Baptist came to baptize in water, but said there will be one that will be baptizing in, 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 the, in the Holy Spirit with fire. And Jesus himself walked into the water to help us, to, sh to show us how we are to be baptized. Um, and then, of course, this beautiful passage from Scripture that teaches us unabashedly what we're supposed to do. Here's some water here. What's going to prevent me from being baptized right now? And Philip and this a eunuch from the court of Candace went in to the river, into this body of water, and he was baptized in water. So, so to take a passage from Scripture and completely take it out of context and believe that we're not supposed to baptize in water because Jesus didn't use those terms in that particular passage in the, in the, in, in, um, when he ascended, before he ascended to heaven, is you can see where the error comes from. And this is a blatant example of it. But of course, another blatant example is the Eucharist. To deny ourselves of the sacraments in the name of the scriptures to deny ourselves of the authority of the successor of the apostles in St. Peter in the name of the scriptures is committing a terrible heresy and error. That this is a perfect example to us, these two scriptures, passages, how they help teach us about the apostolic authority and how it's not sola scriptura that only came about 500 years ago. But for the first 1,500 years of the church, it was never, ever considered to be true. And, and, and sola fide, faith alone. It's not faith alone. It's works and faith. It's the scripture and the traditions of the church. Stay in Mother Church and we'll never go astray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected 
in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Song to us. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium fidei, mortem tuam, annunciam os domine, et tuam resurrectionem comfitemur, donec veni. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. We pray especially this morning 
for Kimberly Maroney. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church and graciously grant her a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. On you stay. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be saved from everlasting life. Amen. of Christ. Body 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 of Christ. 
Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder, we have rosary immediately after Mass for those who can join us. Also, I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in a while, uh, cappuccino with Father Capaverdi at 9.30 from the rectory kitchen. It will be streamed. 
Um, there have been people who have been coming to me and saying, how come you haven't been doing that? And, you know, it's just been very busy and there's been things that I've been doing on Thursday, but, uh, but I'm going to um, do it this morning. So uh, if you can join us for that, uh, then please do so. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings of Almighty God descend upon you and remain with you forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day. We just begin our rosary for uh, Thursday for, for our priests, and we'll begin with our Come Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. And we'll begin with our novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe. O Virgin Mother of God, we fly to your protection and beg your intercession against the darkness and sin which evermore envelop the world and menace the church, your son. 
our Lord Jesus Christ gave you to us as our mother as he died on the cross for our salvation. So too, in 1531, when darkness and sin beset us, he sent you as Our Lady of Guadalupe, Antapayac, to lead us to him who alone is our light and our salvation. Through your apparitions, Antapayac, and your abiding presence with us on the miraculous mantle of your messenger, St. Juan Diego, millions of souls converted to faith in your divine Son. Through this novena and our consecration to you, we humbly implore your intercession for our daily conversion of life to him and the conversion of millions more who do not yet believe in him. In our homes and in our nation, lead us to him who alone wins the victory over sin and darkness in the world, in us and in the world. Unite our hearts to your immaculate heart so that they may find their true lasting home in the most sacred heart of Jesus. Ever guide us along the pilgrimage of life to our eternal home with him. So may our hearts, one with yours, always trust in God's promise of salvation and his never-failing mercy towards all who turn to him with a humble and contrite heart. Through this novena and our consecration to you, O Virgin of Guadalupe, lead all souls in America and throughout the world to your divine Son, in whose name we pray. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase of the gift of faith, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the gift of hope, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For an increase of the gift of charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be, world of end. Amen. We'll pray the uh, luminous mysteries, but before we pray, I just have this little reflection for all the intentions of the priests that we pray for, for an increase of vocations to the religious life um, and to the priesthood. Again, um, Father Giacomo Capriberti has asked <clears throat> for a special intention to be prayed for today for himself and our parish, so I told him we would do that um, to keep his intention in our prayers. Keep them, <clears throat> I pray thee, dear Lord, keep them, for they are thine, these priests whose lives burn out before thy consecrated shrine. Keep them, for they are in this world, though through the world apart, when earthly treasures depart allure, shelter them in thy heart. Keep them and comfort them in the hours of loneliness and pain, when all their life of sacrifice for souls seem but in vain. Keep them and remember, Lord, that they have none but thee. They have only human hearts with human frailty. Keep them as spotless as the host that daily they caress. Their every thought and word and deed may you deign, dear Lord, to bless. The first luminous mystery is the uh, baptism got to find it, excuse me. The 
the baptism of Jesus. In this mystery, we desire to live our baptismal promises. Think of Christ's baptism at the hands of John the Baptist when the Father called him his beloved Son and the Holy Spirit descended on him to invest him with the mission he was to carry out. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us us this day our daily bread bread, and and forgive forgive us our trespasses trespasses, as we forgive forgive those who trespass trespass against us. And and lead us us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray pray for us sinners, sinners, now now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us us sinners, now now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray pray for for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for for us sinners, now now and at the hour of our our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray pray for for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray pray for for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave. Priests, 
pray for us. The second luminous mystery is the self-manifestation at the wedding of Cana. When they had run out of wine, Jesus blessed water and turned it into wine. May Jesus transform the darkness of sin and death in the proclamation of the gospel of life. And we'll offer this mystery up for all lukewarm priests. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, of hell. and lead, lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven. Especially, especially those in most need of thy mercy. proclamation of the kingdom of God. Jesus called the crowds to conversion, proclaiming that the kingdom of God is at hand. May this world choose life and turn from all that leads to darkness and death. And we offer this decade of the rosary for all of those priests that are leading other souls to perdition. Amen.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, day our, our daily, daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world without, without end. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Save Jesus, us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave. mystery is a transfiguration. The Lord Jesus led Peter, James, and John with him to the top of the mountain where he was transfigured in light and his garments shone whiter than snow. May Christ's glorious light shine on all who dwell in the shadows of darkness and sin. We'll offer this decade of the rosary for all of those priests that uh, have been shut in, have been taken their priestly uh, uh, duties taken away from them, those priests that are being persecuted, those priests that are being injured or even killed. Amen. Uh -huh. In 
and give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave. Padre Pio, Pray for us. the fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. On the night before he suffered, he took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body. When supper was ended, he took the cup filled with wine, gave it to them and said, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood. Strengthened by the Holy Eucharist, may we work to proclaim the gospel of life and defend all who are endangered by the culture of death. In this decade, we pray that all of our priests have a greater devotion to the most blessed sacrament, Eucharistic adoration, and to pick up their rosaries um, and have a greater devotion to you, Our Lady, in the rosary. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, and let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the souls of all of our priests and our faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you very much. I beg you to spare the life of the unborn baby that I have spiritually adopted, who is in danger of an abortion. For the baby's mother and father, we pray. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We'll do the memorari for an increase of vocations, especially here in our own parish, Immaculate Conception Church. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we kneel, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all his evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The unity prayer. My adorable Jesus, May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. And may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. O Blessed Lady, spread the effects of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. 